Hello, welcome to SS Unitech Social this side and this is continuation of Azure Databricks tutorial. So in this video we are going to see about the mount point commands. So in the last video of this video series we have discussed how we can create the mount points with the Azure blob storage by using the account key and SAS token. So if you haven't watched that video, so I would strongly recommend to watch that video before going forward. So in this video we will be seeing few of the important commands that we'll be going to use very often in the real-time environment. So the first command which is the mounts. So mounts is going to use to check how many mount points are available inside your Azure Databricks. So let me quickly go inside the browser and we'll try to see in practical. So we have created this notebook on the last video of this video series. So remember we have created two mount points one for the input and another for the output. So how we can check how many mount points are there? We can simply use the dbutils.fs. Then we can use the help command to see how many commands are available under the mount. So we can scroll down and here we can see under the mount we have the mount command, mounts command, refresh mount, unmount, updated mount. So these are the available commands. So we have already seen about the mount in the last video. So let me see about the mounts in this video. So we can further check about the mounts by specifying as an parameter here. And we can read out. So it is going to display the information about what is the mounted within the DBFS. So that I told you in the starting of this video. So let me quickly go and try to check how many mount points are available. So here after dbutils.fs we can use the mounts. Let me try to execute and we'll see. So this doesn't look very good. So we can use the display command. So what display function will do? It will be going to arrange this in the tabular format. So as we can see, so it is already having seven mount points and we have created two mount points which is available in the row number three and row number six. So this is for the output and this is for the input we have created in the last video. So by using this command we can check how many mount points are there. Let me quickly go and check in next one. So next we can see the unmount. So unmount command is going to use for deleting any mount point. So let me quickly go. We have already discussed about this in the last video but let me recap. I want to delete this output mount point that we have created from your mount point list. So for that let me add a cell here and let me use the dbutils.fs dot unmount and under that we simply specify your mount point name. So that is your mount point name. Let me try to execute and this should be deleted. So it is running we can wait. So here as we can see this mount point has been unmounted. So as we can see output as true. So let me try to execute this mounts command. We are having total six mount point. One is deleted that is for the output is not available here. So by using unmount command we can simply delete the mount point. Next we can see the refresh mount point. So what refresh mount point will do? So it will be going to forcefully all machines in this cluster to be refreshed and it will be also clean your cache. So let me quickly go and try to see in the practical how we can refresh all your cluster. So for that let me again add a cell here and simply we can use the dbutils.fs and after that we need to use the refresh mounts and we can execute it. So it's not available so let me use the M as caps. So as this is the case sense too. So here it is executing. So once it will be executed your cluster will be refreshed and all your cache data will be gone. So as we can see mounts successfully refreshed. So this is very straightforward. Let me quickly go into the last one. So in the last one it is saying about the updating your mount. So what does it mean? It's very similar to the mount but inside the mount remember we were creating the mount point. So in case of the update mount it will not create the new mount point it will be updating the existing mount point. So remember like we are having one of the mount point that is input. So that input mount point 
is pointing to the input location that we can see under this so we want to update this mount point and name will remain same but this time it should be pointing to the output location instead of the input location so let me quickly show you how many files under the input and then we'll see how many files are under the output so how we can check the list of files we can use the dbutils dot fs dot ls command so it will be going to list down all the files and folder under this input we can use the display function so this displays will be going to arrange this into tabular format as we can see it is having total two files and it is pointing to input location let me quickly go into the top side instead of mount we can simply use the update mount so it will be going to update so this time i want to focus on the output location instead of the input location and your mount point name will remain same and access key everything will remain same only you have to update the source now let me try to execute so it will be going to execute successfully and we will be able to see the out output location files so we can wait so as we can see output as true it means it should have been updated so let me quickly go here and try to execute and see the list of files so now we can see only one file because into the output location we have only this file we can go into the downside and let me try to execute this mount so it will be going to see the source location so as here we can see this is pointing to output location that you can see previously it was input so we have successfully updated the mount point so these are few useful commands you can use on your project if you have already created the mount point and you want to check whether the mount point is available or not you want to clean and refresh your cluster then you can use the refresh mount if you want to delete any mount point then you can use the unmount command so all these commands you can use as per your need thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video please subscribe our channel to get many more videos see you in the next video